evaluate the given expression when a equals 1 and b equals negative 31. To do this, we'll substitute 11 for a and negative 31 for b, and then evaluate the expression using the order of operations. So beginning with the given expression, the quantity a squared plus b squared, divided by the quantity a plus b, we'll perform the substitution. In the numerator, a squared is 11 squared plus b squared, which is the square of negative 31, divided by the quantity a plus b, which would be the quantity 11 plus negative 31. When we have an expression in fraction form, we simplify the numerator and denominator separately using the order of operations and then simplify the fraction. So in the numerator, the first step is to simplify the exponents. 11 squared is equal to 121 plus the square of negative 31 is equal to negative 31 times negative 31, which is 961. In the denominator, we have 11 plus negative 31, which equals negative 20. And 121 plus 961 is equal to 1,082. So we have 1,082 over negative 20, or 1,082 divided by negative 20. Because this quotient is negative, we can write this as negative, and then 1,082 divided by 20. To express the exact value as a fraction, we need to simplify the fraction as much as possible. Because the numerator and denominator are both even, we know there's a common factor of 2. To show the common factor of 2, let's write 1,082 as 2 times 541, and let's write 20 as 2 times 10. Now we can see the common factor of 2. 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1, which gives us negative 541 tenths. And because the only common factor between 541 and 10 is 1, we know the fraction is in simplest form, and therefore the exact value as a fraction is negative 541 tenths. Let's check our work on the calculator. To do this, we'll enter the original expression in this form here, but we do need a set of parentheses around the numerator and denominator. So we'll have an open parenthesis for the numerator, and then we'll enter the numerator. So we have 11 squared plus the square of negative 31. Close parenthesis for the numerator, divided by open parenthesis for the denominator. And then we have 11 plus negative 31, a closed parenthesis for the denominator, and enter. Notice how it's giving us the exact value as a terminating decimal. So our fraction is equal to negative 54 and 1 tenth, or negative 54.1 as a decimal. To see this value as a simplified fraction, we press math, enter, enter. And we have negative 541 tenths, which verifies our work is correct. Again, in this case, we can also express the exact value as negative 54.1. What we don't want to do on these problems, though, is convert to a decimal and then round. By rounding, we're not giving the exact value as the directions indicate. I hope you found this helpful.